My name is Specialist Moore. I have been a part of the National Guard for six going on seven years, and I do it because I want to give back to the community. I felt great because I, uh, we were originally tasked out um, as a group of four to come down here and survey things and then actually being told we are going to work here full time. I just felt great to know that we we're going to impact this small community. Um, there's just a need in the community. Uh, originally it was me and a group of three other guys that came out here to um, survey, see what they needed as a uh, community. So we came out here and they were doing over a thousand meals a week and a lot of their volunteers um, are older so they didn't want them working here so that's why we came in and uh, provided a presence. It means a lot, especially this is week five for us. So like, especially working down in the pantry, um, we see familiar faces every week. So like they've really started, we've become a part of the community because they know us as the soldiers around here. Um, and then not even the pantry, we help out um, with their warehouse over there, building shelves. Um, we're helping out with the community garden. Um, so we're trying to impact not just the pantry, but the whole community as a whole. Uh, I think it'll make a big impact knowing that there is a service here that can help out if you're in need. Um, so like there's a lot of the people that are coming to this pantry are new, like they've never had to use it. We had someone come in that said after eight year, after so many years of working, this is the first time that they haven't worked in eight, um, eight weeks in a row. So they had to come here as a resort. So they know this is an opportunity for them to actually get food and help out. Uh, it feels great to give back, um, to know you're making an impact on not just one person, but the whole community and uh, actually like make an impact on someone personally is just a great accomplishment. Um, I've made a lot of personal interactions, so being here for five weeks that you see the same families and like when they come by they know us by name now um, just because we see them every day and it's just seeing how they're doing and like how, they're, how this quarantine is treating them. Our community is uh, very close knit. Being a small town as it is, like especially like the people that work here, they know everybody by name coming through. And um, when they get new people, they bring them in like family and they try to like help them in any ways they can. Um, not with just with the pantry, but with any other mission they have that they can help them out and their families out. Uh, it feels great, like to know that you're bringing, uh, you're a part of their family, especially being here. Like I said, for five weeks, like. You, you learn to love with them, like, and you're working with them every day side by side. So um, you just become a part of their family and a part of the community. I do believe we're all in this together. Like, it's we gotta stay strong as a community and as a whole nation to get through this. Uh, my family is very grateful that I'm out here to knowing that I can make a difference in someone else's life. Um, I say what my proudest moment working here would be just not like not just working in the pantry like we've found other missions to do to help them out so it's not just the pantry we work with it's a, becoming a part of the community and helping out wherever they need. My name is Corporal Turos. I've been in the National Guard for six years going on seven years. I've been an 88 Mike for six of those years and the seventh year I'm going in is a 35 Fox. We are out here to help the community of Steubenville and their food pantry and the Urban Missions Church to help give food out to the community. Uh, even though it's a small town, the people out here still need to know like we're here for them. So it's really nice to give back to them and give them the food and everything that they need. It feels pretty good. I like to give back a lot. I like to give, it makes you feel good because we're all one, so it's just a good feeling. We're definitely all in this together. We all work here together. We're all the same people. Just because I'm in uniform doesn't mean I'm not the same person as they are. It means a lot, especially because my grandparents grew up here in Steubenville, so they're proud that I'm here to help where they grew up at. Uh, I think they're very appreciative, especially when they see us here and that, like I said before, like they're not forgotten that we're here to help them. And every time they see us, they wave and they're very grateful and we're grateful to help them. Uh, my name is Sergeant Sterner. I've been in the Guard for five and a half years as a 13 Juliet, and I do it because I enjoy it. Uh, we're out here to uh, support the uh, COVID-19 pandemic with supplying food to people who desperately need it. Uh, it feels pretty good. You actually see the, uh, you know, the progress that you're making every day, day by day, so it's very motivating. Uh, for this community, this mission in particular, uh, as you, day by day, just supporting each person that comes out to this food bank. And the numbers are kind of going up because of the demand right now, but we're here day by day supporting them. So. I believe we're all in this together because one team, one fight. To be a part of this feels very special. Uh, obviously, this has never happened in my lifetime before, so it's a very humbling experience and I'm glad to be a part of it. I want everybody at home to understand that the National Guard is here to uh, support the community and give back, because that's what we do. My family feels uh, really proud that I'm out here doing this uh, for the community and for Ohio. My proudest moment uh, during this coronavirus would be uh, just to see the reactions of people when you uh, hand them food and how grateful they are and thankful they are. Just when you're putting the food in the trunk and just, you know, they just greet you every time they see you with a smile on their face and 
it's always a very warm welcome. So the faces are becoming a little bit more familiar right now, so still in the process of remembering names, but we're getting there.